Well, Jose, you were captain for today and you seem pretty emotional at the end as well. Just tell us your feelings at the end of today's game. Yeah, it's, um, you know, as soon as I moved to this club, yeah, I live uh, an amazing things with this club and uh, it's impossible not to be emotional at the end of the game to see all the fans uh, screaming to your name and, uh, you know, the love they're showing to me and the love I show to them back is something special. It's something unforgettable and uh, actually I thank all of them for every single time, every single tweet, the Twitter to thank me and uh, I to thank them back. It's, it's incredible, it's incredible. Why is it so special, this relationship you have with the fans, with this club? Could you even have imagined it when you joined Sheffield Wednesday four years ago? No, never ever, but uh, I, really feel, I really feel something special for this club before I come in to play for them. When I played for Charlton uh, in 2010, if I'm not wrong, we was winning 2-0 in the first half and they get back and the second half, the fans was incredible. And uh, something clicked to me, said I wish to play for this club and uh, without imagining in the summer, I will move to the club and uh, I remember back then I had an uh, offer by Doncaster and Chef Wenz and Stina here, Chef Wenz, I said no chance. And Doncaster back then, he was in the championship, I said no chance, I will go to Chef Wenz because it's the club I was wishing to play for. And how do you compare this campaign with Sheffield Wednesday now in the playoffs with your first season, which was, of course, promotion from League One to the Championship? You've just gone on and on and on and got better and better and better as a team. You know, the dressing room is uh, the same feeling. It's impossible not to remember. And I'm sure if you ask any of the other fans been with us all through since the promotion, they for sure they have the same feeling because the dressing room is the same, the things are the same, the momentum is the same, we just get better and better and better each performance and uh, it's been an incredible journey and uh, we hope to carry on like that and with this support I think we can do it. Well of course we've had 5,000 more or less 5,000 fans here Maybe for this game. They, only they give 5,000, if they give 10,000 <laughs> we'll put 10,000 for sure. For, well for a game where it, the result didn't really matter that's an incredible commitment from the fans and of course now we head to Friday night and the first leg of the playoff semi-final against Brighton and we're sure to have a bumper crowd for that one as well. What are your feelings about the playoffs now because it is Brighton who come to Hillsborough on Friday? No he's in a, he's in a special moment, uh, he's a special playoffs, he's a special moment, he's completely different than the league. Seems like you are playing the Champions League game, <laughs> quarterfinals, you know, semi-finals. Seems something special. The atmosphere is special. Every is nothing we will compare to the league, I'm sure. And uh, to have the sport we have here today with the game, like you said, the points doesn't really matter. To have the support we have here, I cannot imagine how going to be Hillsborough on Friday. I think even when the day we get promotion, the atmosphere will be even more than that, for sure, 100%. When you look back at these sort of four years you've had so far at Sheffield Wednesday, are, are there any games that stand out, I mean, perhaps in that promotion season or, or even this season? Yeah, for sure, the last game at home. When uh, actually the two last games, because we need to beat Brentford at, uh, we play three o'clock and United play at five o'clock and we need to get that three points. And we surely didn't deserve that game because it was better than us on the game, but only the result mattered. And uh, to have the last game at home to have to win to get to the championship that was for me the best memorable game ever and can you see yourself Jose no matter what happens in the summer now could you ever come back to Sheffield Wednesday in a coaching capacity maybe later on in your life would you like to come back to Hillsborough and, and spend some time there for sure and I think I will uh, even when I retire I will live in Sheffield because I really like the city and the people around the city and uh, I really have a very very nice time at this club, I don't know my future if he will still at this club, but whatever happened, this club will be always in my heart.